I'll smack my ass and shave my balls. It's the best damn podcast from Chippewa Falls. Good morning, all you hick guys and gals. Welcome to Tales from the Hicks. Who have we got? Hey, I'm Jason. I'm Chad. This is Ben. All right. Chad. Yeah. And I'm Nathan. I'm, I can be Nate. Yeah, you, 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 you be I always forget you myself. Be I'll be Nate. Today. Good job. <laughs> Way to go. We've only been doing this for how long? Yeah, he forgot his name. 18 <laughs> episodes. No big deal. Two weeks, two weeks in a row, I think I've done that. Uh, Chad, what's happening outside? It's sunny. 85 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hot. Six MBHs. And the air is super thick. Mm -hmm. It's muggy as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, some say you could cut it with a knife. Mm -hmm. See, that's why I got my ass up early and cut the lawn so that it got too hot. Early what? 1130. Now. Yep. Yeah, I was gonna say I got up at ten, so it probably. Oh my god! It's probably ten thirty. I was out cutting the grass already. Definitely up early. Wow. Yeah. The sun was already up. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Jeez. Beautiful morning. Who would have thunk? I suppose your neighbors are a little upset because you cut so no, early. No, no, no. Yeah. Actually, uh, the one across the street and the one across the street that way, we all three of us were, it was like Same synchronized time. mowing. It was Ooh. cute. Mm. Is it an Olympic sport? It should be. Mm. Well, everything else seems to be. Yeah. I see a, a, a guy a little, just a little ways down the road. He cut his real short. Oh, see, he likes to burn it. Then. Yeah, he's going to burn it. That's usually my go-to method, yeah. absolutely. Just burn the fuck burn. out of it, and you're done. Yep, hang the mower up for the year. Yep. And drop, that, drop the deck down as low as she'll go and let mm. the dust fly, and then right. just... Looks nice. good. Well, that's good. Hmm. The putting green out there. Mm-hmm. Huh. NFA. Ben, what'd you do this week? Uh, what did we do this week? <coughs> oh, uh, yesterday uh, for Father's Day, the wife had rented a pontoon for the day. Say, that was last month. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure I missed it. She then. gave it to me for Father's Day or whatever. The um, told me that she had rented it, and then we just picked a weekend. And so yesterday was the day we had picked. So we had a pontoon rented for Tainer Lake in Menominee. Mm-hmm. So we went out there and spent a good chunk of the day. It rained off and on a couple times, and. We had to dodge a couple storms, but it was fun. Yeah, cruised around the lake, did a little fishing, and yeah. Cool. That was cool. Mm. Awesome. That was about it. Nothing wrong with that. And you woke up feeling like a million bucks today. Ten million. Ten million. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, super smooth. Okay. Wow. Big right. spender. Thought you were feeling sore or something today. Yeah, it's overrated. <laughs> hmm. Chad, tell me. I went to a baseball game. Oh. Um, over here at the Haleywood Ballpark. Yankees? Yep. Um, Tanner. Oh, okay. Yep. Tanner and his team. Yeah. The mm-hmm. one one of two games that I've missed this season. <laughs> and you were there. I was. Oh, yeah. Was, there was a lot of people there. Was there one there? there? I did not see her. Oh. I only stayed five innings because it, it was, seemed to be very warm at work on Thursday. And then on top of it, it was really warm at the game. Uh, but I did get to sit in some shade. Uh, but I only stayed five innings. They uh, they seemed to handle themselves them first five innings real well. So did it actually go nine innings or no? <laughs> no, no. I didn't expect it to because it was when I left. I think it was thirteen two. Yeah, Tanner's team run ruled the other team. Yeah. So oh, I think it whatever fifth inning or sixth inning or something like that. Must so, maybe because I left in the fifth, right at the end of the fifth. Yeah, so it was right. After. Maybe maybe it was the seventh. I don't remember, but. They must yeah. be pretty good this year. They must. I think they've only lost like what one or two games. Yep. Yeah. Nice. And the rest of them, when they do win, they basically run crush them. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Dang. So I did that, and then uh, went to the fair Luda f- Friday and seen Luda. Nice. Um, short concert, but you know, it was it was still fun. We had a thirteen or fourteen of us that went. I saw you guys uh, said you had you guys wait in line for a long time. We did. Yeah, um, the group when we got there, there was a line to get into the fair, and then a line to get into the actual stadium area. So a um, couple of us left that line, went to the beer line, and then also had to get in another line for an armband. So there was a lot of lines to start the night out, but overall it was well And worth not it. the good kind of lines. No. <laughs> not the ones on the table. <laughs> No, it was uh, the lines you stand in and sweat. Mm-hmm. But we washed the sweat away with some 
cold beverages. So that was fun. And then uh, today, uh, yesterday, made up for golf league. And um, today had a family picnic grill out at the man and uncle up at the lake in Chatech. And hmm. now we're here. It's good to hear you made it. Good to hear you made it up there. Yeah, yeah. Because I the, know the last family, the big right, family, get together it. to make it. You weren't there was able a lot to. Of, see, um. there's still a lot of things <laughs> that day. That, Priorities. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. you know, there was a lot of things still that day that uh, just didn't make it. Huh. How, was, uh, two or three. How, how was Luda? Was it good? I thought it was good, short, yes. Um, How long was it? 57 uh, minutes, yeah, I, I heard 57 really? minutes. Really? That's yeah. it? It yep. was, I said an hour, but somebody had said that it was 57 yeah, minutes. Yeah, from the time Sheesh. he come on the stage to the time he left. Yeah. And uh, the DJ did a lot of the work, well, I think. Yeah. But I mean, did he basically just do his hits and that was it? Not full hits. No. no. Well, no. He so, didn't even sing the whole songs? Um, no. No. Or so he did rap, whatever you want to say. He did um cuz I think he does a lot of collaborations where he yeah. like joins on or featuring Yeah, whatever. like with the one with Usher. And, yep. Yeah, for yep. sure. So I think what he did was just saying his verse of those songs. Oh, yeah, okay. And then maybe the chorus or something and yep. then went on to the next one, but okay. I actually saw the I actually have the set list um I was saved. Gonna, I was going to ask you, where did you get that? He walked up there, didn't just, you? Just yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with he's a DJ. He's got connections. Well, I'm sure him and the DJ yeah, hooked up. Um, yeah. yeah, let's see. So, uh, video intro. Southern Fried, Welcome to Atlanta, number one spot. Act of Fool, Southern Hospitality, Area Codes, Ho, Splash, Waterfalls, Holiday Inn, Minuteman, Growing Pains, Split Crowd. Oh, that was rude. Uh, yeah, and then he the did, left yeah. Right of the stage. Teo Cruz. Uh, he sang, Baby. Baby, yep, he did, baby, yep. uh, Bieber was on the big screen. Yep. Glamorous, moneymaker, pimping all over the world, fented to see, roll out, uh, Sierra O, infamous, I don't know, stand up, how low, my Pretty chick cool. bad, all I do is win, 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 and move, bitch. Yep. And then so get back. He was on Khaled's. I didn't know he was on that. Because that's a DJ then, Khaled, right? All I do is win. I don't know. I'm not sure. But he also did... Did he do jump, did he do jump around? Well, that was like after... After the DJ was just doing was it thing? after or just before? But that was... I don't think he was on stage. He wasn't singing. Oh, he that. wasn't on the no, stage? Okay, no. it was just the DJ was, doing... Yep. That yeah, was like pretty cool. intro stuff or outro. Yeah. Like, but yeah. overall, yeah. I mean, it was a short... You know, but to me, that kind of artist is not... It's not a, you're not going to go there and hear twelve to fifteen straight songs. I mean, that's not that type of music in my mind. Yeah. Um, I didn't have expectations either way. I was just excited to see him, just because yep. kind of always wanted. When I to. think that's part of it is that it's rather than being like an entertaining show or a whatever kind of music thing, it's more of just the I got to see Ludo. Yeah. I, yep. Know? Exactly. They uh, felt. Uh, <laughs> felt the need that they had to have uh, metal detectors, kind of like yeah. a brief TSA. You had to empty your pockets and walk through a metal detector. Really? Yeah. For but the concert or the concert. fair? For the concert. Just the concert, yeah. But I think they had that for All of them. Lee Bryce, too. Yep. Who's that? Lee Bryce, country singer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. He was there Thursday. Thursday night. Yeah. Yep. He's no Gary Allen, but... Hmm. I've never heard of him either, so I thought oh. maybe... Gary opened for him since I've never heard of either. Of them. Jason, what'd you do? <laughs> yeah, he I'm opened up. Buy, we're at just going to uh, bypass that. The Glenlock Bar. We're by, oh. Gary did. We're Gary bypassing did. this yeah. segment. We're going on to what Jason oh. did. It's oh. his turn now. Guys. We're coming to you live from the Glenlock Bar. That's closed down. Here to rock down happy hour. Gary Allen. Let's go. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's what I did. So uh, <laughs> who? To you, <laughs> Jason. What'd you do? Uh, I uh, also went to a ball game on uh, Thursday night, okay. and then um, who's ball game? Tanner's. Oh, okay. My son's ball game. Yep they they took care of business. Take care of business. And his G friend was there. She oh, was? she was. Yeah, she was sitting around the corner in the front. I yeah. even looked. All I seen was Karen, Dan, two. Oh, empty, maybe she wasn't. Two empty chairs. Oh, no, maybe she wasn't. I, mean, I think. And you're then right. in front of me were my parents, and right. me, and then oh, Lacey and yeah. you Don, and yeah. Don. Yeah. 
and uh, Bruce and Clean. Bruce and Clean. Yeah, that's all I seen. Oh yeah, maybe she. Oh, maybe she. Maybe she had to work. I she have did no have idea. to work. Where's she work at? Uh, KFC. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Chicken. Chicken. Chester mm-hmm. crispy. Mm-hmm. Finger licking good. Mm-hmm. Chester uh, Tanner's got himself a sugar mama. Mm-hmm. Got in the got get the job, paying yep. the bills. Oh, Tanner gosh, plays yeah. video games. He does. He's there we go. Athlete. Actually he's he was well, he went to church this morning. Yeah. Oh, damn it, Tanner. She Stop came doing and that. she came and picked him up about, I don't know, ten maybe? Church. <laughs> 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 yep. And then uh <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We went to uh, we went to the fair. <laughs> you did uh, last night. Oh, we wow! No, the Wisconsin State Fair. Did you go to Charlie? No, we no. didn't go to Charlie. <coughs> no. Um, well, and as you can tell, since Charlie has been here and gone, we did not get approval to have him on the show. So God damn mm-hmm. it! Along with Uncle Si. So. Wow. Charlie uh, Daniels, I'm assuming. Charlie Barons. Charlie oh, Daniels would be cool. Charlie Daniels is dead. No, he's not. He most certainly is. Is he? <laughs> is he? When did he die? Oh, Jesus. Oh, I didn't know that. Anyway, oh, was Barons was at the fair? Charlie Barons? Yep. Oh, I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, yesterday. Oh. Yeah, so we went up there. We got there maybe 12, 30, 1 o'clock or something, uh, and we left around. July 6, 2020. Four oh, years. No four shit. Years ago. I didn't Almost know that. Almost exactly four. Well, yeah. Just over four four years in a week. I didn't know that. Eight days. R.I.P. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Peace, so it would have been, well, it would have been pretty bad. Out. Weird if you'd have been here. Okay. Yeah, so we went up there and did that. Got the kids, uh, the armbands, and then Lacey and I just walked around the fair. And the funny thing is, we <laughs> didn't know anybody. There was a, hmm. there was hardly anybody there, but there was. We ended up with knowing five people total. Huh. So then you did, in fact, know somebody. Yeah, five, well, okay. five people, but sure. out of everybody that was there. Well, you said there wasn't very many people there. There wasn't. I, I don't know. A thousand or so. Did you eat any fair food? Um, we did. We went to the Optimus Club. Oh, okay. So. Local. Keep it local. Yeah, keep it local. Right. I heard there was some drama at the fair this year with <coughs> them Vendors. wanting to make more money and people pulling out. And oh, yeah. They definitely did make more money. All of them now are seventeen percent. Yeah, Holy that's why I heard the seventeen. The I thought I heard eighteen. Uh, the article I read was seventeen. Yeah, that's what I heard as well. 17. Was seventeen. Okay. The one for four H club, I think, that's yeah. always in like the same spot. Yeah, and it's mm-hmm. been there the white building. since the beginning. As long as I can remember, yeah. they said CEO don't want to be yeah. it because they're not. not that's that cutting into. I mean, that's that's, that's a good for, cause, right? Yeah, it's right. for the fucking kids, right. yeah. Yeah. and you got to suck seventeen percent out of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm, but well, then uh, the Andersons yeah. wasn't even there. But I thought that yeah. was something else. I yeah, don't think that, that was... was uh, I think there's two uh, sides to that story from what I read as well. Same article that... Um, well, they say there's three sides to every story. The one one person, yeah. the other person, and, and then, then the truth. truth. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, See? Yeah. That would be one of them. So Yeah. All I had seen online, and I mean, this is Facebook, so whatever it's worth, you know, but... It's got to be true. It was just that um, supposedly whoever runs the fair and the guy from Anderson's, there was some sort of pissing match about who was responsible for other. wastewater. Yeah, the gray yeah. water and I don't know cleanliness Whatever. or something. But mm-hmm. I think they still did all right though with their store in town because I think a lot of people still went ended up going there. Yeah, yes. you can get the same stuff that they would have had yeah. at the fair, right. but for probably half the price. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. and then. Uh, when we were there, my wife said, why don't we go on a helicopter ride? Oh, oh, sweet. Nice. And if you guys don't know, I am definitely scared of heights. Oh, okay. So you were all for it. So that was a good idea yeah. then. Yeah, so hopped right on. <laughs> he hopped to it. I didn't <laughs> hop right on. So we had to wait in line probably 15, 20 minutes or so and... Every time that fucking thing came back, I'm like, oh, my God, it's getting closer. It's getting closer. <laughs> and uh, finally, it was our turn. And I was, you go through the fence and you sit on a chair. And then it was our turn after he took off. I'm like, fuck, we're next. I mean, <laughs> when he comes back, we're, we're going on, you know. But it's probably the last time I'll be touching the earth alive. Mm-hmm. But I did it. So How was it? it I was nervous, like, Pretty much the whole time. It wasn't that bad. I mean, once we got up, because he, when he took off, he went like right to Parkview. I mean, he he had a, 
because we started going tipping it and then yeah. you had to fucking bring her up right over right i'm like i, th- I thought he was gonna hit the school you know i'm like <laughs> oh shit but he took her up and he tipped her and you could see the whole fair on the left because where lacy was sitting was in the front and there's no doors on it oh the guys didn't sit side by side uh nope because there was the pilot and lacy and then me and then there could have been another person here oh but uh uh no so we got up and <laughs> i'm i'm sitting there with my phone and i didn't want to move you know i didn't and i'm just taking pictures and looking forward and trying to take you know pictures. how to take pictures on your new phone already right on oh and wow. i got a new phone impressive oh, yeah. you nice. must have had a good mentor wow mm. oh i don't know how to work it i you don't know, know i can't show it. you the pictures but <laughs> god damn it i know i took maybe i didn't even take pictures yeah. i don't know i have <laughs> Check this black screen out. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, that's that's the it was dark There's when I was on the helicopter. That's lining girls. <laughs> 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 no, yeah, he pretty much uh, went up over the fair, and we went out by, like, uh, St. Joe's and came around, and uh, Seymour Cray, he fucking banked her pretty tight, and he went right over top of the water skimming, you know, but and he came up by uh, the golf course there and just ran around the East Hill and back, so it was maybe five minutes or so. Yeah, I think their ad says seven. But yeah. How much was it for the ride? It was, it was sixty bucks a person. Mm-hmm. Okay. So sixty per person. Sixty per person. Okay. Yep. So we did it, and I'm kind of glad we did it. You know, I I'm looking back now. I'm glad I did, but you know, I wasn't expecting the wind turbulence up there. You know, but in it because it felt like I was doing um, drifting when you're up there because it, it you could feel it yep. like. E- and you could see that he was like drifting and i didn't care for that so not only did you have like the side to side motion you had the up and down for the current so you'd drop and or you'd raise you know and stuff but he was from kofax so nice was your seat wet when you got out it was uh brown in color <laughs> stained <laughs> yep. it was full of shit no it bucket was, necessary mm-mm. No, my pants are full of shit when I uh, before I got on, and they were plump full after I got off. But mm. and then the, the one dude who was on the ground, he's like, "Well, I, I, you're gonna like it. If you're not smiling when you get out, we'll have to take another trip." I go, "The fuck, we are." <laughs> 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 That's what I told him before we went. I was nervous, but yeah, he came back, and then he kind of flies back over the fair, and then he's over by like the Y, and he just like hits the brakes, and we tip backwards in the in the helicopter and he makes the corner and comes down and yeah i mean lacy liked it but i, I was kind of nervous you know but yeah. i mean i've never done it so oh, right. I maybe the you. next i wasn't i didn't know what to expect you know but it's kind of like a roller coaster i guess yeah right hmm. but yeah i'll show you pictures later sure I'd, I'd feel safer in the helicopter than probably on some of the rides though oh yeah <laughs> well yeah to be honest it's probably maintained a hell of a lot better yeah right but yeah. yeah, I was talking to a guy at work, and he said that that guy from Colfax, he has friends that live directly across from that guy, so they'll go over to the helicopter guy's house, and uh, he'll take them up yeah. for rides and shit, you know, yeah. right, whenever, so. Hmm. Yeah. The wife has always wanted to go up in a hot air balloon. And yeah, uh, oh, I do too. Said, fuck no. Get oh, I think it'd be no. awesome. Yeah, I'm parachute. Chad, my fucking, too. my big ass is not going... <laughs> Hundreds or thousands of feet up in the air in a motherfucking wicker basket. Be nice and quiet. Though. Nope. No way. No how. Bring some wine up there. Oh my god. You guys be some wine, champagne. all right? <laughs> champagne. <laughs> yeah. Negative. Yeah, I want to go. I always want to be romantic. Go over to I think it's Hudson. They have a great big air balloon show. Oh, uh, Dave, who's you know been on the show here, he's done multiple hot air yeah. balloon rides. Yeah. <clears throat> he said it's really cool. Yeah, said, I, yeah, cool story. I enjoyed the. Uh, I did the helicopter once. Go for it. Probably did you at the fair? Yep. Oh yeah. Uh, my dad and I believe it was Scott Shimano or Scott Schindler. Oh, Scott Schindler. Yeah, yeah, I believe we went up, and that's when we lived across the street. So oh yeah, you know. Yeah. But they used to. I don't know if they still do. They would ask you. Did they ask you which way you wanted to go? Nope. No. See, I, I want to say years and years ago they would ask you if you want to go to the north or to the south. Oh. They can, you know, because I'm sure a lot of people from Eau Claire, but I'm pretty sure they told us they gave us the option. But well, yeah, well, he didn't obviously go very far from the yep. fairgrounds over to St. Joe's and right you know, yeah. Timber Terrace and just the East Hill. I mean, he didn't. It's not that far. 
So you're not going to buy one is what you're getting at? No, I'm probably not going to buy one. Yeah, just I'm probably not going to go in one for a while. I mean, I did it, you know, so. so how, just think how many, how much faster you get to the cabin. At least he thought I was going to pass out. Really? Uh-huh. Yeah. Better, <laughs> I don't blame you. Just, I'm, not always, a, I'm not a big fan of I'm heights. Not, I don't like the heights. And then especially like when you're, either, you're moving like that, I didn't. I didn't care, you know, because he had her tipped, so, I mean, <laughs> you could fucking see out that window pretty well, you know, but... We did, uh, we went parasailing when I was in Mexico for our honeymoon, and that oh. was not fun. No? No. See, I, I didn't, that doesn't, in, uh, that doesn't, that's not on my bucket list, but when we were just on vacation, I, uh, my son wanted to do it, my daughter wanted to, then said no, so I didn't want Landon to go alone. So this other guy that was on vacation with us, he kind of volunteered, got asked if he would do it, and he was all for it. Yeah. That guy. Oh. Yeah. And I then we had become. three goddamn bad... Well, the weather was perfect, but yeah. the water and the winds were... Choppy. ...too high, so they couldn't go. Mm-hmm. See, we went off the beach. Well, well I don't that's know. what we would have I been. think. Yeah, they had a boat, but we stood yeah. on the beach, and yeah. yeah. Oh, well, first so you would have went off a boat. Oh, I mean, yeah. Big platform boat. Yeah, no, I I was standing on the beach, and you have to start sprinting, and then you get sucked <laughs> up into the air. Yes. Uh, I think I would rather do that than you're just on a boat, and all of a sudden just the rope just keeps going. Yeah, no, I, going. You're, you're standing there, and the boat takes off, and you've got a little Mexican dude here who tells you what to do, except you don't speak a fucking bit of English. <laughs> yeah. um, so all, all I really got is if I pull on this side, I go left. And if I pull on this side, I go right, and they give me hand signals um, to do whatever left or right if I need to steer. But I probably won't ever have to need to steer, so don't even worry about it. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I get strapped into this harness, which definitely is not made for a boy my size. <laughs> and you're supposed to sit in the harness, right? So you're like, you're sitting, like so it's super comfortable, except now when you're as big as I am. You're dangling there like a monkey fucking a football, and your nuts are getting crushed right up into your fucking esophagus the entire time. As small as they were, you wouldn't think that could happen, but it did. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they the boat takes off, and he tells you yeehaw, and I start fucking running, and yeah. off into the air you get sucked, and you go a thousand feet in the air because the rope is three hundred and thirty three meters long, so that's nine hundred ninety nine feet, and um, you're up there, and it's quiet and peaceful and i know that i'm only seconds from death the entire time <laughs> yeah, well, you got um, water underneath you that's the only reason i did it is because it was over water yeah. and in my mind i believe that there's a chance i'll survive i know realistically i know there's not oh, if i hit the water from a thousand feet up i'm fucking dead right oh, but yeah. um, and even if you do survive then you gotta dodge the sharks I'm, I'm a good swimmer so i ain't scared about that <laughs> yeah he is a good swimmer he tried that in lake Wasoda when we got stuck and we uh-huh. <laughs> Like Do you remember that when we did that? Uh-uh. We were we were tubing yep. by the uh, Rod and Gun Club. Yep. And then for whatever reason, I put the anchors down. I don't know why the fuck we put anchors down. Oh, yeah, down. and it got stuck. And it got stuck. So Ben's like, well, I'm going to go swim down there and see. And I'll just take the rope and I'll pull myself down and I'll see what why it's stuck. Because I couldn't get it out. Well, that no, makes man, sense. I just kept on cranking and cranking in the front of the boat. Yep. Just kept on going down and down. Now. He fucking jumps in the water and he starts pulling himself down in the water. It's like forty feet deep, you know. Yeah, I didn't make it all the way. <laughs> <laughs> he comes back. He comes back up about two and a half seconds later. Yeah, it's cold down there. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably hooked on a silo ladder or something. Yeah. Well, I don't know. And then I finally just started up the motor. I'm like, well, fuck it. It's just an anchor. If it, yeah. whatever yeah. breaks, it breaks, you know. And yeah. I just pulled it. Went real slow and it. Pulled it loose, so I'm guessing it was like a rock or a, a log or yeah, something, something. Down a tree or something. But uh, but yeah, I know I I swim good and I float, so I'm never yeah. worried about you the know, water. All you got to do is flip me over on my back, and I'll be good, even if I'm passed out. Yeah. So all right, mm-hmm. good to know. Yep. But yeah, so excuse me, we cruise around out there, and they bring you and kind of steer you, so you're gonna come back into shore and make your landing. Excuse me, and. Um, as I'm up in the air, I'm I'm hanging on. I mean, I got a fucking death grip. If the the grip was around somebody's neck, they'd have been choked out in about five seconds. I was squeezing so hard, and then I looked and I realized my hands were squeezed like 
one centimeter away from the clasp that unhooks the parachute from <laughs> <laughs> my heart. Not that I could undo it, right? Like it's I, I'm carabinered in and I would have to lift my body weight to get it up out of the uh-huh. clip, right? But still, that made my butthole pucker up even more, <laughs> thinking I could accidentally <laughs> unclasp it. But so I cruise around and I'm okay coming in for a landing and I see, you know, El Guapo on shore there and he starts motioning um, for to do my left hand. So I, and I think it's because I was so scared, right? I cranked on the left as hard as I could, and that shot me directly into a hut. And I was <laughs> like, I was about four seconds away from crashing into this hut, and all I hear is, "No, no, no, senor, senor, senor!" And he starts giving me the signal for right hand, you know. So I crank on the freaking right, and back to the right, I go away from the hut. And yeah, I, it was cool, and I'm, I'm glad I did it. I can yeah. say that I did it. Yeah. But I did not enjoy it anywhere near as much as the rest of our crew that went. My wife absolutely loved it. And I I did not. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I, I'm glad I did it. I, Same. Yeah. Uh, it's just going to be a while before I do it again. Yeah. You know, but. Well, fair comes around once a year. That's true. <clears throat> it's it's going to be a while yep. before I do it again. But it's we did. It was just her and I. So, I mean, the kids were out somewhere out in the circus out there. And yeah. Yeah. We, we don't get to do shit together, oh, you right. know, so we well, just uh, did it, you know, and fuck it, yeah, let's go do it, so we did. And well, your kids are now at the age where you can, you know, yeah, you guys can dude, just go. I know, that is the weirdest thing, we were talking about that, so it was just her and I eating at the Optimus Club, well, she ate a hot dog and whatever, cheese curds, and we're like, this is weird. She eat the hot dog like this. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> And did she go hot? Tour. She did. I'm not <laughs> fucking shitting you. <laughs> we, were thinking, we, got, we had to pick up one of Kaylee's friends. Oh, this story so, took a twist. So yeah, we, were, did. we were pulled in the driveway and I was taking a drink of water and she goes, hot, do it. <laughs> and then fucking water, boom. <laughs> she goes, you're an idiot. I'm like, you're an idiot for saying that. I go, Let's do get you right know? in the house right yep, fucking now. Yep, do you yep. even know what that means? Uh, <laughs> it's good. I'll show you. Jason says, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you. Yeah, do it. But uh, yeah, so just her and I, and then um, we did that. And it was it was fun. And But we were sitting at the table and we're like, you know, this is weird that, you know, the kids are yeah. old enough where they can, they have their friends and they're doing their shit on their own. And, yep. You know. Well, now's the time. The, that time that. is coming. What? Just go. Whatever you want. Once a week or once every other week, just you two go. I mean. More than just a Walmart. Something yeah. that's not Walmart grocery shop. Friday shopping. or a Saturday mm-hmm. or a yeah. all day Sunday. I mean, they're old enough. They fend for themselves. Mm. Just go. Yeah. I yeah. Guess, maybe. No. You just said you, yeah, you never get it. to. We don't. Now's the time. What, what's open on a Sunday that we could go like to eat? Next Sunday? Sunday. There's a lot of what places. What do you want to like, do? There's a lot of oh, places I don't know. on Maybe Sundays. Maybe go out to eat or something. Uh, pretty much every uh, restaurant's open Sunday. Are they? Yeah. Little, um, I, I'm not into wine, but I see a lot of people go to oh, yeah, wineries. She's not into wine. and, she doesn't. Uh, right. A lot of bars, they sell food. But even like Ted's, the Sandbar, um, Shootsies, there's a lot of them are just local. But they have bands, one, two, three, four member bands that play for mm-hmm. two or three hours in the afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Or go go like hit up some breweries. Yep. Yeah. Or Most breweries around here, yeah, distilleries have yep. Yep. food. And uh, like uh, there's one in Menominee, Lucette, I think, is the one in Menominee. And it's a brewery and they have amazing pizza. It's really good. Um, yeah. Yeah, try out some different kinds of beers or honestly the last time i was there for pizza i didn't want a beer because i was driving they have homemade root beer yeah. yeah so i had a fucking awesome homemade root beer and yeah i ran into uh brad johnson the other day at the oh, farm yeah. and fleet okay he's all married and stuff now. he is all married now he's growing up oh and uh <laughs> he said if you want a good burger to go down to fall creek to the corner pub Oh, see, there you go. There. Next, he said that he said Saturday that afternoon. he said that fucking burger was well, I don't know whatever that is eight inches round or whatever, and he said it was high and he had to push on it to try to to try to bite it you know to like eat it when you got to do and that. he said it the grease just run down he said it was uh, awesome. There you go. Next Saturday at two. You right, I know that, but uh, oh, we can't next Saturday. Okay, that's fine. Sunday. Friday. Friday. See? 
or get weird and go Thursday afternoon Whoa. for supper. Ball game. I mean, it, yo. Tanner has a ball game. Fuck. We can't do shit till about after July. He doesn't play on the weekends. It's almost there. I know. And then after that, then we can do whatever. Hmm. Hey, we're on. No, hey, we're hey on. are we on? Finally. Are we live? Oh, shit. Now? What? <coughs> I don't even know how long that took. What? 25 minutes? 30? Yeah, how long are we in on this? 36. 36 minutes. Huh? <clears throat> I still don't think we've heard what Nate did last week. Yeah. No. Yeah. Sal? Let's see. Monday it stormed. Tuesday. Okay, ball let's game. Ball game. back up. Stormed. It stormed, yeah. It, they like canceled the ball game. Fun. It, it rained for, for 40 minutes. They yeah. canceled the ball game because of that. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Pussies. <laughs> they, got, they canceled golf. Oh, yeah, see. Sons of bitches. Uh, so Tuesday I went to a ball game. Not on Caddyshack. <sighs> Did you finish that? Oh, you split it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I gosh. I was the nice. I split. I did split that. Yes. Okay. Well, there's more in the. We got a, a Hicks cooler. So Hicks fridge. Hicks, fr- Hicks, Hicks fridge. fridge. Hicks fridge. Hicks fridge. Yep. Brought to you by. Hello. Yep. We'll figure yes. that out. We'll figure that out later. Yeah. yeah. We'll edit something in there. Yeah. So I'll just brought be to like, you by Hard Mountain Dew. Oh, well, there's nothing more that four thirsty Hicks like to drink than Hard Mountain Dew. Mm-hmm. Goes down smooth. Big cans, small Big cans, down. and they are delicious. Absolutely. Uh, for advertising, it's hicks at tailspinthehicks.com. <laughs> We'd love to hear from you, Mountain Dew. Pepsi. Yes, that's Pepsi. With a PepsiCo, Mountain Dew, yeah. you are the best. With a check yeah. would be the preferred check. method of. I mean, even at this point, us. even if it's not a check, just supply the fucking yeah. fridge. Yeah. Fill yeah. up the Hicks Fill fridge, hard Mountain Dew. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Do yeah. Do for anybody uh, else who wants to supply the hits for yeah. yep. for hits, <coughs> hits start over fridge yep. sir, next preferred. week. Uh, uh, so absolutely. all right. So Tuesday was a ball game. Wednesday at a birthday party. No, Thursday yeah, yeah, was done. Thursday was a ball game, but you were not there. No, that yeah. was the one night I was gonna like not do. Did you have a hot date Thursday night? No, yeah. I had. I was <laughs> a little five out of one. So <laughs> <a chance. laughs> oh, Spider Man. Yeah. Suicide way. Let's. <laughs> Yeah, let's lit some candles and lay it in the bathtub. Okay, that's too far. <laughs> bubble bath and Time wine. to make some statue socks. Yeah. Uh, You're making statue socks. Well, the nice thing about in the bath... Anyway, um, so... <laughs> Washes off easy. Um, that's why that shower curtain is so crispy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like starch. Uh, um, so then Friday... <laughs> Friday we had in the bathroom. I get done at eleven thirty on Fridays, so I come home for a little bit. I had someone here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, kind of organizing things and getting rid of a bunch of stuff. And then when she left, is when I decided I was going to make a Slutvana. Slutvana. I that's when I decided I was going to make a little Mountain Dew run. So I went up to Rice Lake by myself, just cruising out, mm-hmm. and they had. Five 12 packs of hard Mountain Dew. They had well, the Baja Blast mix pack. They had two regular Baja Blasts. And then I picked up these four cans of the hard Mountain Dew. But the five Big 12 ups. packs were the last of them. <laughs> but they were on sale from, I think it was eighteen ninety nine. They were on sale for eleven ninety nine. Oh, 12 no bucks. Shit. 12 bucks for a 12 pack. I was like, I'm taking all of these. That's cheaper than literally drinking water. Well, and I can say it's definitely more delicious. Yeah, yep. So I got five twelve packs and four single cans, and then I was on the way back. I was going through Bloomer, mm-hmm. and I got a text message from Chad hey. asking if I wanted to go to the Luda concert because he had an extra ticket. Yeah. I said, "Well, what time does it start? Because if it starts at seven, there's no way I'm going to get from Bloomer home, changed, ready, and get back up to." the fair by seven but he said it was eight o'clock so got back changed my clothes called up the lift ride and had someone take me up there and drop me off and then went to the luda show mm-hmm. and then we hung around to watch contradiction in the beer yeah. garden because mm-hmm. i messed up they're good they are yeah I, everything contradiction was fine good. i mean the yeah. radio could have been on i thought it was fine. well yeah by that point <laughs> so chad comes back with a bucket of beer <laughs> and he hands one to me and he's like well you just get the next one i'm like oh you got a bucket or whatever and i could have sworn he said something about fifty dollars no. and i'm like jesus so that was fine so we go up get our seats we sit down 
and I, it wasn't too far into the show. <laughs> he was out of his bucket was gone. So I'm like, oh, no, it's my turn. I got to go. So when I went up there, I had to get the arm man, and I had yep. to get the tickets for the thing. Well, I was under the impression $50 a bucket. So I'm like, I'm going to have more than one, so I bought $100 worth of tickets. Oh. Mm-hmm. Come to find out, I did not need $100 <laughs> worth of tickets. No, you don't. Because the buckets were $25. Yes. So that was four buckets of beer that I was going to have to drink. Yeah. So either a... How many in a bucket? Five. Five. So what I did say, and I might have said it wrong, or amongst the loud music and people around us, I bought $50 worth of tickets because it was 10 beers for 50 bucks or $6 Mm -hmm. a beer. Yeah. But I, at per time, it's just, you can get it just the bucket. Well, that's what I did, but... Either way, I think we drink them. I did not come home with any tickets. Let's see, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I was going to have myself a nice little Friday night of drinking maybe one of those twelve packs of Hard Mountain Dew and playing some PlayStation and um, mm, Suicide Wank, maybe. I, yeah. Who yeah. knows? <laughs> the The possibilities were endless at that point. Yeah. But I opted for Luda. Yep. Mm. Thanks. I for think using we it. need to take a Friday night sometime and just game drink some beverages and play some video games mm-hmm. and uh pretend like we're you kids know, 22 again Get don't say that videos. don't say 22 because i tried that friday and that was dumb oh uh, not 22 yeah but you'd be in the let's go with of whoever's house you know? how was that walk home that's fucking stupid that's a long way is especially when you end up at the tomahawk room so you, you went the wrong way yeah well yeah you I walk down I to don't the do it a lot, room? okay? Once every six months, maybe, really oh. pour her on. Huh. Yeah, I ended up over at Tim's house out front. Yeah, okay. There's a large group there. Yeah. And then in that meantime, a guy that I used to work with, Dylan, they were going down to the Tomahawk Room. Uh-huh. So we got down there, and then from there, I went home. Yeah. I mean, after, I needed more, you know? Mm. You walk, you're full. You walked from the Tomahawk Room? I did, right, right up the hill. Boy, that first two Ooh. blocks is test, test the calves. Yeah. <laughs> you just keep going. I get, well, you don't have a choice, really, yeah. at that point. Yeah. I well. think the last time I tied one on was my surprise 40th, 40th. birthday party. At mm-hmm. the VFW. Uh, that was five years ago, so Jeez. that tells you something. You're due. Yeah. I don't. This I August. very seldom. This August for your... <laughs> very seldom do I do that and uh, even drink anymore. I mean, I just... Yeah. I don't know. It is what it is. I just never do. Like, yeah. Even we went out on the pontoon yesterday. I packed two hard Mountain Dews. Yeah. And I drank one the rest of the time I had water. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. But when I get to that point, like Friday evening, once this train starts and leaves the station, <laughs> yeah. it don't matter if there's a, the track is off, I'm going. It's gone. Yeah. Until it returns to the station. And that was, apparently, that was it. That was Friday night. Yeah, there's usually not a lot of in-between for me. It's I have one or two, or I make a mess of things. Yeah. And it's not very often I make a mess of things, but yep. sometimes, oh, yeah. we got to get you to make a mess. Game, okay, call the, the game, game night party then is going to be at your house. <laughs> <laughs> call dinosaurs. Uh, didn't do that. No, I haven't done that. Oh, I Even do that longer. pretty much every time I drink. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's another reason I don't do it all that often. Yeah. Is I honestly think I'm, like, uh, allergic to alcohol. Sure. The first drink I have, like this drink, I can feel my face is just red hot. Hmm. And, like, if I don't power through that, it just gets worse. Damn. Yeah. Hmm. I remember we were down at Rock Dam, and I don't know, it must have been for your birthday or whatever. This was a well, long been December. Time ago. I don't know if it would have been for his birthday. When? His, his real birthday yeah, is my in, December. in December. So. Oh. Is it Pearl Harbor Day? Yep. Mm. Well, then maybe it wasn't your birthday, but we were there at Rock Dam anyway. Mm. And oh, yeah. I was drinking Limon and Sevens that and night. And I don't know if you went to a titty bar or where you did, but you came. You weren't there the whole night. And yeah, you came I think some of us did go to. I think so. Yeah. And you came back and you were by that fence up on the uh-huh. top and you were calling. Oh, yeah. Dinosaur. I was leaning on a tree just puking my guts uh-huh. out. Yep. Hmm. I remember that's been a long time ago. Yeah. Well, I think before my forty my fortieth, a year or two before that, one of my coworkers 
um, some coworkers were going out for something. Somebody's bachelor party. I, I don't know. So I ended up going out, and it was just one of those, like, I, I didn't really plan it, and those right. are usually the worst, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, they're going to be downtown. Like, you know what? I think maybe I'll actually have a few beers. I got an Uber, and it took me downtown to the district, and we started out there and drank a lot of drinks there. And um, then we went up to the uh, Labor Temple, and that's when stuff got real messy. Um, sang some karaoke with some girls. I don't even know who they were. I don't remember. Um, and then I just, like, it just hit me. Like, yep, I'm going to be sick. Mm-hmm. So I just went outside, and I'm standing there smoking a cigarette, and they got those big concrete things out in front yeah. there. <laughs> and I'm just yeah. leaning over the top of it, and a cigarette in one hand, just horking my guts out. <laughs> You know, and a couple guys come out to check on me, and they're like, "Oh, it's like, yeah, don't worry about me, totally fine." Back <laughs> in they go. I finished puking, and I was like, I was "Puking you. rally!" Oh, yeah. Back inside, Ooh, I went. Absolutely. Had had some more beers. That was a bad idea. Back out, I went. <clears throat> same concrete station. Watered the parking lot again, uh, and then I uh, I decided to walk home because I'm only like two blocks from right. yeah. the labor temple. And that was a long walk, because it was. So I'm walking down the sidewalk in <laughs> retrospect, right? Like I think I'm doing good, but I remember the whole thing, and I know it was left of the sidewalk, right of the sidewalk, <laughs> left of the sidewalk, right of the sidewalk. <laughs> like if somebody would have been watching, they would have had a good chuckle, because it was definitely a drunk guy stagger. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. you got to do that every. Yeah, once I don't in a while. do it very often. And no, let yeah. your hair let yeah. your hair down. Yep, yep. got to have fun once in a while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I um, <clears throat> was going to tell you too. Last week, uh, the wife almost had to come over and, and ask to use the the bucket. Whoa! Ah. Yeah. So, the wife and the boy left in the morning, and the boy used the the shitter before he left. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know it, but he plugged it up. Mm. So I went to take a leak later on in the day, and of course the toilet didn't flush, so I grabbed the plunger. And we have a plunger. I mean, it's an actual plunger, but it's more of a decorative, like it's stainless yeah. steel and it's nice looking or whatever. Mm. It's not really made for business, you know, right. if you know what I mean. And um, so I sat there with that plunger for like 20 minutes, and I could not get the toilet unplugged. Mm. So I'm like, well... All right, after I get done with work, I'll run over to Jacobson's and get a big boy plunger, and we'll get this taken care of. So went over to Jacobson's and spent like 30 bucks on a plunger. Damn. And um, came back home, and I still could not get it unplugged. It was not. The fuck was in it? When I don't know what the deal is with my kid, but like when he shits sometimes it sounds like you're throwing softballs into the toilet <laughs> like i can hear him in the other room it's like kaplop kaplop you know is like he, is he standing over top of no it? he's sitting down <laughs> check and, this out and yeah and then you go in there and look and it's like how did this gigantic circle come out of that little tiny asshole <laughs> like how is that possible <laughs> and our and we've got a super heavy duty toilet like mm. When we were remodeling our bathroom, we were walking through Menards, and I see a sign on the toilet that says, can, can flush a whole bucket of golf balls. I was like, that's the one right there. I don't know anything else about it. That's coming home with us. That's the toilet I want. I don't ever want to have to worry about it again. So golf balls, but not softballs. No, nope, not softballs. But yeah, so I worked on it with the big boy plunger, and I still could not get it undone. And... Um, Kristen came home, you know, and I told her, I'm like, you're not going to be able to shit in the house if you need to. It's not happening. And she's like, well, I'm going to have to poop in the morning. I said, well, not here you're not because it ain't going anywhere. (laughs) And she's like, well, what are we going to do about that? I'm like, well, if I can't get it unplugged, I had ordered some shit from Walmart that's supposed to be like a heavy-duty clog uh, remover or whatever. I'm like, if that doesn't work, I'm going to try and get the snake or whatever Mm -hmm. and if that doesn't work we'll have to call a plumber Mm -hmm. it's maybe it's not what i think it is you know Mm -hmm. um and she's like well i've got i'm gonna have to poop in the morning i said well you go to the gym in the morning right she's like well yeah i'm like they have a toilet don't they there you go Mm -hmm. well yeah but it's a small gym and i'm like well tell them to plug their fucking nose you got business to take care of that's what a bathroom is for and she's like well anyways that night she woke up in the middle of the night and had to drop a deuce Uh. And 
she was telling me the next day she's like i almost had to pull a jason and go out <laughs> go out in the garage and do a code brownish yellow in a bucket you know yeah. and i just started laughing but and yeah so then i don't know a couple hours later must have been i got up to go to the bathroom and here's shit in the toilet and i'm immediately pissed off because i'm like i fucking told her you can't take a shit in here you know but she had to go you gotta go you know and I don't know if that's what... So anyways, I grabbed the plunger and started working on it again, and I finally got it. Oh. And I don't know if that's why. is because there was material in the toilet. I was able to, with the plunger, like and push it down, it down and there. force... Uh-huh. Yeah. knock out the other blockage sure. i don't i don't know i would never tell my wife that she was the reason i was able to get it unclogged <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah luckily i was able to get it unplugged and yeah mm-hmm. nice fiasco that's why you have a bucket yep for emergencies or the second bathroom yeah fortunately yeah but well we have a bathroom upstairs but it never gets used and so the toilet doesn't work because we don't ever use that bathroom up there isn't there where you, co- you need me to come over no. Isn't that where it? your office is? Yeah. But you don't use the bathroom up there? I don't know. Have you ever thought it's just starting? Yeah, if the toilet worked, I would. Get the fucking toilet fixed. <laughs> I know. It's just we never use it, so I would I would use it. Yeah. I would come over the, maybe I can just come over to your house. Sure. Oh uh, you're 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 gonna have to you're welcome also anytime. wash your shorts by the time you make it to I know house. that's be a long I'd be You wouldn't probably house. make it here. I know I wouldn't make it here. I can. I have a hard enough time making it out to the other garage. <laughs> I'm doing, Move it to I'm the doing front the, garage. I'm doing the duck waddle. Move it to the front garage. Or just put a screen up, like the old time curtain. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's. Fine. I think that could work. It's. It's. Mm. It'll, be, it'll work. You know what would probably encourage the kids to get out of there when it's time for you to go? Set the bucket right outside the bathroom door mm. and do your business. Mm. Yeah. Take it in their bedroom. Who's yeah. ever who's ever on the toilet? Yeah, take it in their bedroom. <laughs> that is a fucking inspired idea, yeah, right there. I like. They're gonna be all shit in the bucket sh- in their bedroom. No yep. longer are they shitting at home. <laughs> Dad's gotta go. Sorry, Dad. All right, Tanner. Bucket me are going to your room right now. <laughs> We're gonna play some Xbox while I dro- do my business. Yeah. Uh, I bet you that shit would be ended in a hurry. Yeah. Yeah, when he comes downstairs, open his barn door. There I am shitting. Yeah, yep. tough shit. He knew yeah. you were in there. Yeah. And plus Don't you it, knock? <laughs> but I mean, then you got all those statue socks you could wipe with. You yeah, know? that's yeah. true. Yeah. Mm. You're going to get washed out. Mm. I mean, that's like a built in handle. Just grab the top and you got an L and fuck. <laughs> You're golden. So, yeah. before we get into news, I have something I want to share. <gasps> all right. You're Jewish. I. No, it's I haven't looked at the closet. In, no. Yeah. <laughs> Something that I know you guys have been very concerned about for at least the last week. Who the fuck Gary Allen is? <laughs> concerned? August 17th. Is a I'll be going to Jewish. VIP Gary Allen in really? Corcoran, mm-hmm. Minnesota. So huh. I'll be sure to share some. Corcoran, Minnesota. Corcoran, they Minnesota. open in a new Arby's there? Or? Yeah. <laughs> 7-Eleven. Maple, like Maple Grove, Medina. Welcome oh, to that's the 7-Eleven, right yeah. Gary Allen. Mm-hmm. 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 So, I know you guys have been very concerned about my uh I'm glad well-being. you went VIP, though. Oh, yeah. No, I, would know. I go any What's other that way? cost? An extra two fifty Dollars and 50 yes, cents? Yes, $2.50. Okay. Cents. I didn't think... Well, I think it was like one seventy five or one buck seventy five. Yeah. 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 Buck seventy five for the ticket and two fifty to go VIP? Yeah. You get like free appetizers and mm-hmm. shit off the roller grill. Get some food tickets and yeah, food coupons. So that's an overnight event for you. Well, I would it could assume. be. Yeah, hmm. I'm coming back that night. Though. I'd assume it's overnight because you probably snuggle up with Gary when you're done, don't you? <laughs> or before. It's kind Ooh. of interesting. So his uh, his steel guitar player lives in Osseo, Minnesota, which is well, it's like ten miles from where they're playing. So it's kind of a hometown show. It'll be kind of fun. So you're going. I'm going. That's cool. You know it. All right. Uh-huh. So we're going to get into what? I got something to say, too. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay. Oh, maybe Chad's coming out. Of, I've inspired him to come out of the <laughs> closet. <laughs> no, it's not that. Um, so we have a new listener. I was informed Friday we have a new listener. Oh. Uh, hometown listener. I think nice. we have new listeners every week. Oh, do we? I think so. Yeah, but from the hometown, like, where okay. they somebody relays it to us. I don't hear those All or right. see those. Um, her name is Kelly. Kelly. 
Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Yeah. Hi, Kelly. What's For up? the ones that wouldn't know her besides just on here, it's Adam Berg's mom. Oh, oh she right. thinks it's yeah. hilarious. She can't she wait for the next funny. ones to come out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. So, yeah, yeah pretty well, exciting. Yeah. And I was kind of like the first time he said it, I was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, oh, fuck, what, what? Mm-hmm. You know, like taken back. So that was pretty cool. Another listener. So that's yeah. cool. Local listener, I guess. Nice. Well, I know uh, Chubbs is always has always told me and always told us that he first thing monday morning is he is looking Uh, forward to listening to it well then over the weekend i had heard from one two like three or four other people they're like yep monday morning i'm really looking forward to it and i'm like oh that adds a lot more pressure on sunday nights because sometimes (laughs) it takes hours to edit and get it ready to be distributed and now it's like boy now it has to be done because (laughs) these people are relying on it and yeah i know uh berg and jake do too yeah jake made the comment that one day he's like something about i don't know if the video feed wasn't working yeah that one or whatever might not have been updated yeah uh jake schultz oh mitch's brother yep Yep. does mitchy listen I don't think so. No, I don't. Mm. I don't. I've never really talked to him about, but I don't think he does. No, no. Nope. Why the fuck not? Who fucking knows? Talk it's to him. Mi- it's Mitch. Talk to him. Yeah, well, I do. I see him every week. Yeah, that's what I'm him. saying. Talk to that sawed off yeah. little fuck and say yeah. what's up. That little Irish bastard. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I can do that. I'll see him tomorrow. I mean, he could even watch us on YouTube if he doesn't want to listen. Well, he's got fucking time. He's at. He works at ED. You know, on EDI, and yeah. now he. Sucked his way to some corner office, oh, really club or the little leprechaun. I don't know. He does something relaxing. Yeah. So he's got his own office. No, it's not. I shouldn't say office. It's a. I don't know. It's like a a room, and he pulls the parts, and he's it has an office in it or whatever. Wow. But, Is it like quality? Yeah. No, I think he just like puts parts together for them oh. to build parts. So like he just sits all day and does it, or I, from what I understand, well, that's, right up, that's right it's up climate alley. controlled. How many phone books does he have to sit on top of? To get up to the- <laughs> uh, they just tip a crate up for him. Oh. <laughs> they don't want to use that much sure. paper. Yeah, uh. phone book. <laughs> yeah, yeah what's it? that? You yeah. need a lot of these. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, no. So yeah, no. There are listeners, and uh, I know some. I don't um, watch the video, um, you know, per se. But yeah, no. I know there's a few people like Jake that one day he's like, oh, I couldn't even see your guys' faces. I was yeah. like, wow, it's right here, buddy. Yeah, you tell Mitch okay. that sawed off little twat that yeah. he needs to be listening. All right, all right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Do that. All right. So before we get into news, I well, we're gonna get into news. Um, oh. But I have some news of my own well, to let's share. Do it. Again? Oh, yeah. We already know you're going to see Alan. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. right. So I got the most important news out of the way. Okay. Uh, must have missed that part. Milton Teagle Simmons died yesterday. Oh, Richard. Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons. Really? Real name, Milton Teagle. Hmm. Yep, Richard Simmons died yesterday. And uh, How old was he? 72. What's her name? Died Shannon Doherty. Yeah, as I say, yep, Shannon Doherty died, too. 90210? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know her. She's, she's, she's pretty famous. Yeah. 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 That's why I don't know her. Mm-hmm. Even Jason knew her. <laughs> yeah. He probably looked it up on his new phone. I right. doubt that. Right. Please. Yeah, he pulled it right out. He showed me this week. Wow. Uh, what kind of phone did you get? Uh, this one right here. A cell phone? <laughs> I know, but I was black. really more asking Nate than I it's was asking It's a black phone. It like, looks like this. Yeah. I assume Nate helped you set it up. So I think I it's Samsung. It Samsung. <laughs> See, you know. I don't know. Hello, Moto. Did you know you can talk to your phone, Jason? No. I know I can talk on it. No, like if I call you and then you well, answer? You can talk to it. Say, the telephone. Hey, hey, Google. Blah, blah, blah. Holy buckets. Oh. You probably weren't supposed to look at that app. No. <laughs> That's an S24 Plus. Holy Whoa. cow. Whoa. You fucking, fucking moved Top right of the line. On. Jeez. No shit. That is way more phone than you need. Hell yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> that's, their, that's their brand new, brand new. latest out flagship. Like, even I only have an S23. Oh the people God, that man. are on their phone like for work and business, that's what they use. Jeez. I'll trade you. I got the S22 Ultra. We can swap. Wow. Oh. Okay. Look at this guy just shooting up. Right. <laughs> Not that it's. Well, I like went from a flip phone, I mean, to this, so. Yeah. You, you, <laughs> Why not? You traded in that 1947 Corolla. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what it was. It wasn't working. 
It wasn't charging. Fancy. Son of a wow. son of a I don't know what any of that. All what the you stuff guys that it got? can do and it won't do oh, any no, of that. No, boy, but he would be he would be amazed if if he sat down for one hour with somebody. An hour? Uh, 30 minutes. No. No, if he sat with somebody for 30 minutes and just seen what it could do, like not actually be able to do it himself. Yeah. But oh. somebody would be like, hey, look what this does or this does. Uh-huh. You would be... There's shit I find on my phone still, and I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? Really? Do you know yeah. who that person is? The guy next to you? Oh. No. Oh. It would be probably Tanner. Oh, yeah, they Tanner. Probably, he probably knows cool. just as much. How to get on all that all stuff? All to do all? Yeah, I'm sure he does. Oh. Oh, well, maybe then. Pornhub and, I mean, what? <laughs> apps. Apps. <laughs> Only <laughs> fans. Yeah. Only. <gasps> I can do that on this phone? Yeah, you can watch Slut Vada on your phone. Only fans? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could have done it on your old phone, too. Look at him. He's pressing harder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who needs Lacey in her hot tour? Lacey, here's 20 bucks. Go get yourself a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were going to spend more time together. Uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Downloaded a new app. Uh, Jason nice. disappears into the bathroom with a bucket of vase line. <laughs> vase line. And his new cell phone in a plastic baggie Ooh. so he doesn't get it dirty. <laughs> the kids are going to be the ones on the bucket now. Yeah, <laughs> get out of the bathroom. Dad! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Hang on! Oh. Well, when oh, you- almost, oh, I'm done. All right, I'll be right out. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, when you got time, then I guess you're going to have to show me all this stuff. There is some good things too. Thanks, though. Chad. I, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to have a few days coming off, don't you? No. No. Okay. No. Group effort. Well, each we'll, each week we can bring you're you. Not doing anything August seventeenth worthwhile. You could help yeah. them then. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually going to be having a thrift sale. The well, don't, don't have it that fucking day. Yeah. On the seventeenth. Yeah. You're not here. Well, your thrift sale, you probably start at like 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning, and we could have it until That's noon That's what time on that normal Saturday. people probably start. You're not going to be up that early. Well, I didn't say I was going to run the thrift sale. I said I'm having one. Oh, okay. My bad. Mom coming over to take care of that for you? You know it. I'll I'll have to, duh. Her favorite <laughs> nephew will have to bring some shit over. She'll, well, she'll now tuck you know you've got... Tuck okay, you wait, you're only having it one day? No, 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 no. It'll be... I don't know if we'll do Thursday. I don't think... Just looking at it right now, I don't think there's enough. Stuff Bob's got to check her schedule, days, but for sure Friday and then Saturday morning. Well, Friday's a pretty big day, so yeah. So Friday, know. yeah, I get done eleven thirty, but I'll probably Karen take will off tuck that day. mom in at Karen. Karen will tuck Nate in at mm-hmm. Thursday night, and then she'll head out to his garage and start getting we'll stuff set tagging up. Tagging all and, this shit, yeah. I'll bring my yeah. stuff tagged, save her stuff. She'll she'll come in with a little urinal bucket about two a.m. Nathan, do you need to pee? <laughs> Bob's got Bob's got the can. Go ahead. I don't know. I don't yeah. know about this. <laughs> All right, so I got to so have you, my shit here by the fifteenth. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you got anything that you want to sell, got a couple mm. weeks. So. Um, Perfect. Nice. Well, we got. I'd say we got probably fifteen minutes. Okay. Do we want to do news or do we want to do uh, deep thoughts from the bucket? We could do deep thoughts from yeah, the bucket. Deep thoughts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pile up a let me uh, log fire up in. your let yeah. me log into the connecting to the internet. Deep thoughts. Uh, I'm logging in. Oh yeah, from Jason's bucket. Here it is. Here we go. Where we we were. Was it Tuesday night at the ball game? You had to write something down. This is it. Oh shit! I've been waiting for this. I'm oh, good. I'm intrigued. Good. I'm curious. <laughs> And this is how this happens. It just shit just pops in my head, yeah. and I gotta get it down. Yeah. And we're, we're, I was excited. Yeah. We were sitting there, and all of a sudden, he's like, "Lacey, I need I need a piece of paper and a pen." And now here. you could do that on your phone. Yeah. Oh, no. I told him no. that I showed him even the note. Remember, I showed you on mine how there's an app that's called the note. Notes. Uh-uh. It's the same thing, but digital. Oh, I showed you. Well, this works too. Yeah, well, I didn't even lose it. Look at guys. I mean, you guys uh, lose your phone and wallets and shit. Uh, I got this from Tuesday yet. Yeah. So it's just yeah. a piece of paper. Deep no, thoughts from the bucket. Um, so here it is. Here we go. <clears throat> if somebody's right in your ass, do you let them pass or do you speed up? Now, 
we need not to not like that. Like yeah, when you're okay, Chad, when you're, let me rephrase car, this. When you're driving, yeah. If when you're when you're driving in a, your vehicle and Someone's somebody's really right up on your ass, do you yeah. do you let them like just say ah oh, fuck it, you know, go around or whatever, or do you start speeding up and then your next thing you know you're going way over the speed limit or you know like if they're trying to pass you do you speed up a little bit just to say fuck you guy or whatever but that's mm. my that's what my thought was that come to you while watching a yeah, ball game say, yeah what oh i got i got one more too oh, okay well i'm gonna i would say for me that's uh it's kind of this the moment that it's taking place if i'm going the speed limit or i'm speeding myself and they're speeding i'm i'm fine with that but do it the right way. You pass me. You don't. You don't have to ride my ass. Right. If you ride my ass for too long, or like you have plenty of opportunities to go around, mm-hmm. go. Or you know, and that's fine. But if not, and you are, you know, you're being a dipshit or something. Mm-hmm. As you, they're now, being a cunt. A cunt, like David would say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dumb cunt. <laughs> I will. As soon as I see them go into the other lane, there will be a little. Tick, 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 tick on the plus on yeah, the steering wheel sure. to go uh, faster. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Mm-hmm. But typically, if they're doing it the right way and I'm just, they want to go 10 over instead of the 7 I'm going over, right. go ahead. I don't give a fuck. Go. Yeah. Get the cops before I do. Mm-hmm. That's my, that's what I would say. I guess for me, it kind of depends on the situation and the mood that I'm in. Yeah. Um, if we're on like a two lane highway, and you know it's the type of deal where i'm hindered by the person in front of me so i can't go any faster and we're in the left lane and we're still going by slower vehicles in the right lane and they ride my ass and also it depends on how bad they're riding my ass too sure like are they just a little close or are they you know licking the fucking bugs off my bumper right you know it all depends on you know obviously if they want to go faster and I can get over into the right lane, like I'll try and get over. Um, or if they're really being a dickhead, uh, I may d- just pull up next to a semi, go and listen to speed limit and set my cruise and say, fuck you, buddy, <laughs> right. yeah. until I've decided that there's been enough punishment. And, and then I, I have a whole car full, a yeah. whole line backed up. Yeah. 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 That's fun. Mm. Yeah, I'm probably pretty similar, except for the semi thing. I don't think I've ever done that or thought of that. No, I would never do I that I would either. be afraid I, of getting shot. Or I heard about that from a guy. I yeah. never do that. Yeah, yeah. What do you do? Well, it, it depends. I, you know, if um, and the only reason why I thought of this is because we went down to the Dells and it's all orange barrels from Osseo yeah. all the fucking mm-hmm. way down to the Dells at least that. But Damn. uh, and it just kind of came to my brain. But like you know, if I'm going up north and I got the trailer on with the four wheeler lawnmower, and I'm going and I'm never in a hurry, so. I'm doing the speed limit, but you don't have to ride my ass. Fucking pass me. Right. You know? And in that situation, no, I wouldn't speed up. I wouldn't. I would just let them go around and so be it, you know, whatever. But if I'm just going up there and somebody's riding my ass, yeah, they go out to try to pass me. Yep. Do I'm going to give her a little juice and mm-hmm. make them work for it i guess i will say though that if i'm driving behind someone that's going i mean a speed limit or maybe a little above but maybe not quite fast enough and i'm behind them and then i have a car behind me that's kind of riding my ass i'll kind of move over just a little bit enough to let them know to see ahead to be like i'm not the one it's that guy and then i'll pull back over just yeah. to let them know, like, hey, I'm not the one. It's the guy in front of me. I yeah. agree with that. See, yeah. I do that with my trailer, too. My trailer might get over into the gravel a little bit for a little ways. To let them know that it's the truck <laughs> pulling the trailer. <laughs> yep. Just to let the rocks kind of kick oh, up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. You know, it, that happens, too, sometimes. Sure. You know, well, but it's a wider base than your trailer. It is a wider base. And it's not that, I, yeah, it's not. It's just that right. it just kind of drifted over Probably there. Into trying the, to send a text message and just accidentally. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's what he's doing. I can yeah. see that. <laughs> yeah, so my back tires and my trailer might be on the gravel <laughs> for a quarter mile or something. Sure. Uh. <laughs> but anyway, that's what it uh, yeah. That's what I do. What's anyway, next thought? Next thought is <clears throat> another option is brake checking, and I've done that Ooh. a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
that can really get dangerous. I think. Oh, <laughs> uh, if it's a real nice ride, I'm not as scared to break Jacob. Yeah, and I'm. They have insurance for sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, and now I mean, not that it would ever lead to that, but you know, I have a little more than a pen in the car if things go south. Yeah, you know, but yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, if someone speeds by you, knowing there's a lane ahead closed ahead of you. Ooh. Uh, do you speed up and not let them in, or do you let them in? You know, like no. if they go speeding up, you know. So the example is, are uh, you got the sign saying Left lane, lane closed, just lane closed or whatever? Yep. And about a hundred feet past that sign, there's an arrow pointing to get over, and then a hundred feet feet past that, there's the orange barrels that start moving the lanes over, and there's always that one dickhead Mm -hmm. who thinks he can speed by everybody and Mm -hmm. pull right in there well i'm always looking way far ahead and i can see the traffic is backing up and they're pretty much not stopped but pretty close to it because everybody's trying to get merged in there but now when that guy goes flying by and is now stopped at the barrels with his blinker on nobody ahead of me is letting them in yeah I sure the fuck ain't going to. Nope. Agreed. So, uh, but Agreed. I, I agree with your sentiments 100%. However... Uh, Are you te- that asshole who goes No, <laughs> I'm not. I'm always the same way. I see the sign, you know, pay attention. Yeah. However, technically, what that guy's doing is what is intended to be done. It's called zipper merging, and that is the how that's supposed to work. All Both lanes are supposed to stay in both lanes, and then as it closes down... It's like a zipper where every other uh. should be merging, and that's how that's intended to be. But nobody does that except for the assholes, you know, who want to get ahead. Well, and they're not doing it. I'm sure they're not I'm, doing it for most the of them, right I'm, reasons. I'm sure are not either. But technically, that's called zipper merging, and that's what they are supposed mm. to do huh. is if both lanes of traffic just keep moving forward, and as you get to the, the narrow down, the neck down, you zipper merge you don't have a mile and a half of traffic backed up because right. everybody in that mile and a half is trying to get over and then chick, 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 it, it you know, hmm. stacks up backwards. Well, that kind of thing, when you said the zipper merge, you ever see the movie <laughs> Something About Mary? Yeah, uh, sure and that's what's going to happen. That's what Frank. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what happened to that's what happened to those oh, guys. I I will Fuck sit in my car that. and yell at the Don't you let that fucker in? <laughs> right? Don't you exactly. dare let that motherfucker in. <laughs> yep. And I mean I am four inches off the bump. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yep. There are no fuck I don't even put that fucking blinker on and stare at me all fucking day long. I will not let you in this yeah. fucking spot. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. I will get in a traffic accident before I let <laughs> you in. I will total my truck out but for that. Yeah. Technically, yes, that's that's what they should be doing. See that goes uh-huh. That goes back to the listeners learning some knowledge. Dropping knowledge. Bombs. I just I learned that just yeah. now. That's that's what yeah. should and that's, and it does make sense if everybody did that, you know. Then at the end you could just boop, you know you you know and you let them in. But, I know, but also yeah. a mile back, it says get the fuck over because yeah, the left yeah. lane's closed. True. So as soon as I see that, guess what? I I'm, same thing. I'm, I'm moving over. over. Yep. Right. All right. Yep, same thing. Something's going on up there. And then, and then every time those people are like, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, think yeah. you can sneak ahead of the front of the line, you know, and then yeah. then you watch people let them in. It's like, don't let that motherfucker in. Yeah, right. right. But that's what they're supposed so, to do. So nope. Friday I had gotten the gotten the Lyft ride or Uber or whatever. And I told Chad, I said, I think the guy came straight from Mexico. Like, jumped the border, stole the truck, come up here, and got on <laughs> Lyft. Because, I mean, he, he was... Mexican guy, which fine, whatever. He spoke English is fine, but he had you know the big cowboy hat thing on and and big old how, truck. How do you drive a hat a vehicle with a cowboy? Hat? I, I don't know. know. That back brim has got to be banging off see, the headrest. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Um, but we get into downtown Chippewa, going to the fair, and the traffic was backed up from the fairgrounds coming down the hill past Lineys, mm. back down the one way um, behind mm. the courthouse. Mm. Um, back to the car wash yes, all the way back to the wash. car wash it was backed really? up that far i would have saw that and just said turn around and take me home <laughs> well <laughs> see yeah. when you're at that intersection right there you take a right and you well, go up and i hill. tried telling him but not on friday you didn't want to <clears throat> why did why? they uh because that part of the road was up to grand avenue hill by quick trip with traffic 
and down that hill. Down State uh. Street? Yeah, because that's the way we went. The cheat code, I said to Andy, I said, hey, take a right. Yep, we just got up Grand Avenue, took it left, boom, traffic. Stopped. Uh. Uh, oh. So where where I was going to tell him to go up the and it wasn't Grand Ave, it's uh, Columbia maybe whatever the next, the next block one. down. Yeah, that's but, that's the street. Yep. Yeah. Um, so just as we were getting to that point, I was going to tell him to go up that hill, thinking it would make it a lot easier because I could see the cars go the whole way down. And before I had a chance to do that, he got over into the left lane, and I'm like. That's a interesting strategic move. It's a bold strategy. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. it. Pays off. Though. I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to work. And then he like went driving down, and I'm like, I wonder if he doesn't know that once you get up there, only the right lane can turn right. The oh, left yeah. lane has right to turn left. Yeah. Um, but we got I don't know, maybe two, two three blocks right to almost by the courthouse, and. He started just doing what we were talking yeah. about, what we hate. Yeah. And I was in that vehicle of, I could imagine, 40 <laughs> cars being like, don't let that fucker in. And I'm just like, oh, my God, please don't anybody shoot me. And I was just going to say. Sir, I'm an elected official. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. And it was, I mean, he had no fear. He just kind of, <clears throat> kind of slowly but surely just kind of moved in where yeah. he wasn't the car behind us was either going to have to hit us or let us in like there wasn't a choice and we yeah. got i mean so i uh, saved ourselves i mean in reality it probably saved us three minutes right you know but yeah that's uh that so you pulled uh, something about Mary move. Huh? Ooh, I did not like it. Yeah, we zippered right in there. Well, I bet you you hated every second. Oh of that. my god, I was. Not I can just imagine it. you oh, in that car. It's so funny. Just watch. sweat. Oh, oh, it was terrible. Just take him for a ride any fucking time. I don't care if it's from here to Walmart. It could be today, sunny, bright, no traffic. That motherfucker will, is the nervous, most nervous person I know. I've never Mine noticed that when him and I have ridden together. No, oh my well, God. Watch his right leg or left leg. No, no. He is nervous as a motherfucker. No, because <laughs> it's it's a lot it's with awesome. you, Chad. Why? Well, here, let me do an impression of how you drive. <laughs> <laughs> I look up. <laughs> That's how, exactly how you drive. I mean, you have you have the ability to look up my record. How many accidents have I been in? He's never drove in with, with me like that ever. How many once. accidents have I ever been in? I don't know. That's One right. for sure. One, and that's because the dumb fucker we thought there was a train, train coming yeah. that yeah. wasn't there that right. day. He's probably dead. Know. So rest it's, in peace. That old would man, make but, me nervous. But what's funny fuck, though? No, you gotta you gotta look. It's no, not no. just because you're doing this. Doesn't mean your eyes are glued to it. I can you go know, like this and a lot of shit like that. I can, I'll have to go back. I'll looking. have to go back on the audio <laughs> thing, but I could. I, I'll find the spot exactly where you tell him. You know, you can run your phone from your voice. Yeah, mm-hmm. No, that was Ben, or somebody said it. Not an all ass. So here's here's something. Fucking Guess what I have in my car now. I would imagine a driver. Yep. I have uh, an Mr. Alexa. Belvedere? An Alexa. An Alexa in the car. She ain't gonna be able to look up shit that I want. She to. will tell you, and all you gotta do, you're driving along, you just said, "Alexa, what's the weather?" She'll tell you the weather. She'll tell you the traffic updates. You She'll could do that with it. Google too. Hey right. Google. Yep. Or and that's on your Samsung. Yeah. Well, this you don't even have to have the app open. It's just a separate little microphone thing that. Yep. It's connected Bluetooth to your phone. It's not even that big a deal. Uh, no, it's super safe to drive and yeah. look at your phone. Yeah. I don't always look at it. Um, he, he's never done that with me. Mm. All the I'm demos guessing we've been because to? he knows what would be said. <laughs> no, no, I know. I hear it all. Yeah. The, well, not all the time because it's. Yes, I do. I'm on my phone, but it's not like it's not like you know in traffic or <laughs> seven, eight cars <laughs> zooming by me in front of yeah. me or are you, you know it's you not a big deal. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Good fuck, I do it all the time. <clears throat> I do, <laughs> except at work. You're the ass who I will not let in. I when I not. see you on your phone, fuck you. Get to For the back what? of the line. Oh, get, I don't. I don't do that. I because I'm the same I'm way. Pretty sure I, you just said I do do that. Yeah. Well, no, on my phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, but have to zipper emerge. zipper in or shit. No, I don't do that. I wait. I'll 
wait in that line because that pisses me off too. Well, plus you got more time to fuck around on your phone. Yeah, because then you can go slow and you can concentrate <laughs> on your phone. On the you Candy would, Crush. I'm just going to do one of these quick looks. Come on, things. I need to hit three more levels. Yeah. For as concentrated as you are on your phone, though, when we do get the text messages, you're like, oh, that, you know, that autocorrect well, voice texting yeah i'm like text. bullshit you don't use voice text well so you're buried head deep into that you're like a sand hill crane with its neck how many buried. times okay. or whatever the ostr- ostrich right. maybe, whatever before the case is closed how many times have you been in an accident when i was driving none how many times have i been in your car when you drive and you had an accident <laughs> that had the cell phone how many was, cell phone how was many sir one. how many case closed thanks Self- next well case next. is not closed i just closed that Okay, well, <laughs> that's your closing argument, but you're still found guilty. So I don't look it suck. up. Look it up. But speaking of that, how do you do that when you're on Lyft? How? What are the? Do you do that when you're driving Lyft? Uh, no, because then you don't get five stars. Oh Jesus! And the tips go down. So you put it in the mount. You should have a mount anyway. I do. Right here. God gave you one. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're another but, hand. <laughs> that's no, why Chad on, can't have manual transmission because he's got to have a free hand for his phone. Not true. Well, at work, I don't. I'm not on my phone at work because that's a no no. It should be in a regular car, too. Yeah, yeah but when you it can is. potentially it's haul, you know, 60,000, 70,000 pounds, it's a lot more dangerous. Yeah, that's way more. The yeah, way you can kill people. Yeah, way more important than my life in your vehicle. You can kill people without the fucking phone. I, it's a lot less likely. This yeah. might be an unpopular opinion, but I think that texting and driving is more dangerous than drunk driving. Yeah, we don't. Because there's, I yeah. think there's way more people that text and drive than drink and drive. I I I've texted and drove a, a few times, but it it's I've only done it when I'm on the highway and there's like no other cars around me. Yeah, you know what and I mean. Yeah, me straight too. Right. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, if, if I'm in town or if I'm on the highway and there's traffic around me, like I'll, I'll just wait. Yeah. Sure, you know. Yeah. Or I actually have it set up on my phone <clears throat> where it, I don't remember what I have to type in because I rarely do it. But I just type in like two letters and it's pre-programmed to send the message. I'm driving. I'll get back oh. to you shortly. Yeah, you can you can have app. that actually set so that when you are driving, yeah, it automatically replies with that. Yeah, uh, not me. No, I'll get Chad's back. like, oh, no, no, like oh, someone sent me a message. I might as well check it right now. <laughs> well, yeah, that's why they text me. Duh. Yeah. But on that note, um, I think it was four or five weeks ago, we talked about that guy that got pulled over. Um, he was on a Zoom meeting or whatever. Oh, yeah. oh pulled into the yeah, parking lot. Yeah. Appointment. It comes to find out he actually had a license. The state never re whatever they got to do. Did their end on the paperwork? Mm-hmm. He actually had a license the whole time. Huh. Hmm. So, yeah, I seen that on uh, whatever. Well, I was driving. I was reading the news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it turns out that after, like, they, whatever, did some looking. Because right. they were going to book him in jail that night for yeah. breaking his bond. Yeah. <clears throat> but it turns out he actually had a license oh. the whole time. Hmm. Well, it still happens more than you I mean, that was just oh, a yeah, case to bring I, it to attention, but yeah. it happens a ton. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, See, if, I, if I get a text and I'm driving, I'll try to look at it, and I really See? have a hard time doing that. Well, you got to put your glasses on first. And then I call you. Well, yeah. you call it regardless. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, it don't matter if you're driving or not. Yeah, because I see a 5-0 driving with his phone in his ear. Hmm? Must be legal for me to do it, too. It's not. I think you can talk on them, yeah. You can talk on them. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm doing. I'm talking. Oh, yeah, but you can fine. go hands-free with that, too. Yeah. Oh, you don't. You got to get a new s- stereo in your truck. Something that has Bluetooth. Your truck doesn't have Bluetooth on it, does it? It sure does. Now you know. Now you have. But I shut it off because I hate fucking talking to that thing. <laughs> you sh- that's fine. That's why I have a phone. <laughs> it, yes. it's, a, it's a... It's it a, is tough to have a conversation phone. with somebody with their Bluetooth in their vehicle. It sucks. I hate I it. I think it's hard to understand. It a lot is. Of times. I don't know. With, well, then with me, then I guess you'll have to call back because. And, no, and I actually, use, it would be don't call mine. back. Fucking send me a text message like a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> Next red light. I do. I, I'll text a person about two times after yeah, that. I'd You're getting a fucking call. It's about your max. And then yeah. we're going to get it solved. Yeah. Or, you know, people who walk around talking on their cell phone while it's on speakerphone. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, your yeah, favorite. That's... Rip that fucking phone out of your hand and shove oh, it right up your fucking prison wallet. You should have seen, Christ, you should have seen everybody at the fair doing that. 
Uh, oh, I don't understand. Speaker it. phones? Yeah. So stupid. So walking like this. Where are you? I can't hear. How are you? How are you? Nobody <laughs> wants to listen to your yeah. fucking conversation. No. I don't know. What the fuck, dude? Just put it to your ear and then you can hear the son yeah. of a bitch. But. I got a phone call while I was being waited for, while someone was waiting for me or to try to find each other at the fair. Mm. Yeah. I think I was probably about this close until he realized I was standing right next to him. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I heard it was loud and lots and lots of people, though, so it was hard. He was several buckets in already. Well, he was. He, I know they came from Burley's, so they were drinking. <laughs> oh. Turned around, and that fucker was standing right there. Right next to him. Yep. Snuck up on you like an I hung ninja. up, though. I yeah. hung up on him. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. dumbass. Or, yeah. or you dickhead. Or I something. don't know what I said, but yeah. either way. You dumb dink. You dumb he was dink. right there. Dumb dink. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we are going to, uh, we'll have to get to news next week. Sounds good. So. Okay. Um, in the meantime, go out to is it Spotify, iHeartRadio, Apple you, Podcasts, YouTube, all the places. YouTube, leave comments, rate us, subscribe, like, subscribe. Email. Yeah. Smash, smash that like button. Mm-hmm. Smash the like and button. Share it with everybody you know, and especially the ones you don't. That's yeah, it. Yeah. That's it. And good and, and bad emails and bad. are welcome. Yeah. Four yeah. star Send us some emails. Yeah. Let us know four, what you think. Four or five star rating. Would are be we ever going to get a five from you? Go to uh, whatever what is it right. Hicks at Tales from the Hicks dot com and get some uh, shirts and Go, sweatshirts. Uh, we did actually stuff. just got a, a get shirt some swag. Um, get some, is that what they call it now? Yeah, Caleb merch. got a shirt. Yeah, he bought the shirt that says uh, "It's hard to get three inches of dick through seven inches of clothing" oh, or yeah. something along those lines. It was whatever the hmm. whatever the shirt Phrase says. So, yeah, I didn't even know we had that shirt. Oh yeah, there's a bunch. Of, Go check it out. Get a. Yeah. Order one for yourself, and then the ones you don't know. Order yeah. ones for those guys. Yeah, get them a present. Don't Free yeah. Christmas presents. Yeah. Start yes. ordering now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Family and friends, Tales from the Hicks merch. Beat yeah. the rush. Yeah. And uh, I'm assuming probably next week we'll maybe start another giveaway. Yeah, possibly. Um, something exciting. I don't know if we'll do uh, Oh, we're getting a bag. Oh, yeah, we're getting something different, aren't we? A bag, mm-hmm. and uh, I think there's a coffee mug that's coming in, so we'll be getting those Ooh, that'll be on the table that. for for uh as something to win so. right nice mm-hmm. cool and that'll be the same in the facebook like so what do they gotta do what do they gotta send the email yeah. to well, well yeah we'll we'll talk about it i would imagine for next week yeah once we get the stuff that way they can see it and lay out exactly what has to what be the done rules are. Are. Yep. for yeah. the followers and, and generally the it's like the status share the status oh, yeah. or share the page yeah. and then uh, comment on there yeah uh with everyone you know uh, yeah, and yeah. especially and the, the ones, ones you don't tag people you don't know. <laughs> yeah, tag <laughs> random put people. It, put it in, yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll mix it and get something fun in there too. Yeah. So. Ex brother in laws, you know, people, yeah. friend, kindergarten friends. Shit, yeah. yeah. Tell your first grade teacher. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The the guy at Walmart, tag him in it. Yeah. yeah hey, you know? there you go. Give him a sticker. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. not going to. Oh. Oh. Well. Were you there this morning? I was. All right. Uh, you'll have to tell us about it. And I can't wait to hear it. All right, until then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Peace. All right, adios. Have a good day. Later. Bye.